Starch yield can be improved by increasing the leaf area index of a corn crop. Leaf area index can be increased in one of two ways, by increasing the plant population or by increasing the number of above ear leaves on a per plant basis. Grain or dual purpose varieties produce a maximum of seven leaves above the top ear. So these hybrids have been selected to be grown at high plant populations of 33 to 36,000 plants per acre. Leafies, on the other hand, produce eight or more leaves above the top ear, so their leaf area index has been increased on a per plant basis. Leafies have been selected and tested at 28,000 plants per acre. Our population studies have shown that leafies planted at 28,000 have thicker stalks and bigger ears than leafies planted at 35,000. The thicker stalks are more digestible and the bigger ears make a silage that contains a higher percentage of overall starch. Adverse growing conditions, particularly as it relates to moisture content uh, of the soil or, or rainfall available uh, in early growth stages and around flowering time, these plants are always somewhat smaller and we usually have fertilization problems where the ears get smaller. By the leafy being planted at a lower plant population, it is much more resistant to damage in that drought. It will have a better proportion of ear to stalk than if you plant the leafy at the 30, 33 to 35,000 plants per acre. And we'll do a little illustration of that uh, in a moment here because I've got uh, another spot in the field where I can show you what happens when the plants get closer together versus having, a little, having the space that they should have. So here's a, a section of row where the, the plants are at close to 35,000 plants per acre, maybe even just a little bit more. And you can see some of these plants get very small ears on them in comparison to ones that have got just a little more space. These plants that are closer together are also much more spindly. They are smaller in diameter in the stalk. They don't have the brace roots that the other ones do, so there's a tendency for them to tip over if there was a bit of a wind. So plant population is really important for that. As we look at the section of the row that has the plants spaced out a little bit more, uh, and, and this would be the equivalent of uh, 28,000 plants per acre or 27,000, that neighborhood someplace. And you can see that we have a, a bigger ear, the kernels are larger, the ear diameter is larger, and the ear itself is, is larger. The stalk is larger, everything is standing perfectly well. Uh, and a leafy evaluated at this plant population will give you a higher starch content, it will give you a lower NDF content, and it will give you a higher NDF digestibility than if it's planted thicker. So this is really, this is really important. What we found from our population studies is that yield kind of tops out for the grain component at the uh, 28,000 plants per acre and the grain component declines a little bit at the 32,000 plants per acre. The overall yield of the whole stand declines slightly less so the silage quantity would be similar from 28,000 and 32,000 plants per acre but the grain content of the lower plant population is better. So really the grower can plant less seed and get a higher quality product. It will have more grain in it in comparison to the amount of NDF that they've got and we have often seen uh, from our older population studies that the NDF digestibility of the uh, higher plant population is less than the NDF digestibility of lower plant populations. The, the smaller the stock, the more lignified it has to be uh, and therefore the less digestible that it is. It is essential to grow leafies at their intended populations. Increasing density can alter flowering dates and maturity, drought response, standability, and overall plant composition, all of which affect the feeding value of the silage product. For best crop security and yield, grow leafy hybrids at 28,000 plants per acre.